All right, so we're on route. Got my coat on, my jacket, shall I say, just in case. And uh, yeah. <laughs> Tabby was just trying to take pictures, so I was going to get in a shot. But yeah, you can see some of the buildings around here. It's completely different. And we're actually staying in the area where the ultras live. The most are ultras, most are Velez, most are. It's a uh, football team based in most are. And we're staying on their turf. <laughs> so um, this was the hill we had to walk up yesterday to get here and we had our bags and that weren't much fun but uh yeah so much chaos and destruction that was here man and you see the buildings well that's the problem there's you know the the reality isn't really captured when people go to Mostar they just go straight to the center and they'll be like oh look at this look at this beautiful stuff Oh yeah, beautiful, absolutely. Most of us stunning. From what we've seen in the dark. <laughs> but uh it's also very yeah, it's, it's got it's got a, a torrid history. Uh lots of bad things happened here. But you know, it's still good to meet the people in the area and uh you know everyone's really been really friendly to us and welcoming. Yeah, we've enjoyed our time so far. So we've only been here a few hours. So we got home and uh, we, uh, well, to the apartment, sorry. I guess you'd call it home. It is home for the for the next few days. And uh, we basically just collapsed in a heap, like walking up this hill, I guess. And then that, you know, <clears throat> that long old bus journey, like the Flix bus journey was only supposed to be uh, three hours and ended up being closer to like five when I went uh, well to get from Dubrovnik to where we're staying all in all it was about five hours in total um, so yeah it wasn't uh, it wasn't the most easiest of uh, of trips but we enjoyed it so in terms of today yeah we you know this is our first time in Bosnia we've never been here before and uh, we're really excited about like learning more about it and whatnot and uh you know what the country has to offer and what the people are like and get into the center and in the heart of things as well and uh yeah learning a bit more about this this yeah, so it's a very mysterious country to us we don't know anything about it really you know we're not we're not scholars or anything like that <laughs> but um what i do know is that there's a dichotomy there's a big difference between the two areas so you've got areas which obviously have got the signs of of the old past and what happened and then you've got the the newer areas and you can see that ultras pretty weird this is backwards hang on let's uh help you out there you go <laughs> ultras 1995 i think that might have been when the uh, local football team was founded and uh, it's got a very strong following people are very very you know supportive of their local team so uh how's the journey been so far well it's had its ups and downs as you probably witnessed so we've been for a thunderstorm i've injured myself um we've been traipsing rounds here there and everywhere and uh covering a lot of ground basically and uh yeah it's been very uh it's been very tiring the journey but it's been enjoyable in the sense where we've seen things that we've never seen before so uh it has been worthwhile but um i guess uh, i'll use this segment whilst i'm walking towards the uh the old center or the old old town to talk about what uh what 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 you know the the highs and lows of our journey so far so in terms of the highs I would definitely say uh, the views and the people, man. They've been uh, they've been exemplary, all of them. Everyone we met has just been awesome. Um, and uh, you know, you get the occasional person who come, who comes across as grumpy. But to be honest, I explained to Tammy, it's it's not that they're grumpy. It's that culturally, you know, there's not this like fake smile and stuff you have to give everybody 
or like this over politeness that we tend to have in over in the UK and stuff it's uh it's very much what you see is what you get you have to earn my respect you have to earn my trust and I like that yeah I've got a lot of friends from uh, various parts of uh, Europe and that seems to be a common running theme you know respect is earned not just given out the candy so uh I guess there's that like and I, and I and I enjoy that aspect of things you know what I mean that people are just like really blunt and to the point but also the interactions are really genuine and sincere when when they are so you know, when someone's genuinely impressed yeah they really are they're not just like putting on some fake thing to be nice to you they really are impressed or happy that you've interacted with them so that's the highlights in terms of lowlights surprisingly enough for me it's related a lot to uh to Instagrammers <laughs> I got a specific uh, thing that happened so me and Tammy right on the first day we got to Croatia in Split we decided to go and do a bit of hiking up the uh, up Mayan Hill and uh, we didn't we didn't know oh, very nice nice little stream there we didn't know what to expect um, you know in terms of the country and stuff we weren't expecting the storm but we thought okay well it doesn't matter we'll still go off and, and go and do a little bit of exploration up this hill because we kept seeing it in the distance and i was like oh hold on oh my going up there so we went up there right climbed all the way to the top and as we got to this certain bit the rain cleared up it was just at the very top rain cleared up it was on the edge of this mountain uh sorry it's not a cliff a cliff's edge, a, hill, a hill's edge is on the edge of it and uh, I was like wow nice here we go we can get a nice picture of this a nice little nice little video or something a bit of b-roll footage or something and uh, lo and behold the uh, look at that That's nice to wake up to lo and behold these uh, Two Instagrammers came out of nowhere. They came shooting out of nowhere, and uh, kind of pushed out, pushed us out away. You know, these two young Instagrammers have been climbing this, climbing this hill. Clearly, a lot fitter and younger than we are. <laughs> pushed us out of the way, and um, the lady, what she did was she kind of, she stood at the edge of this hill. Now, this would have been like a 500 foot drop. And she stood on the edge of this hill and she kind of cocked her leg back, right? And kind of did that other thing. And she kind of stared off into the distance. And um, yeah, she just had like 500 photos of her taken by her partner. And I was like, okay, fair enough. Everyone's holidays are different, you know? Some people want to capture different aspects of their journey. So, oh wait. So about 30 different takes she finally gets one she's happy with they keep going backwards and forwards checking yeah yeah that, there you go that's the one All right and then we get to the uh part where we want to go and there, uh, you know start doing you know doing some like yeah a bit of b-roll bit of video 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 footage and uh, they swap places and the guy takes her place and he kind of what he does right is he kind of does like a hercules pose and stares off into the distance into these mountains like this right same thing 30 different shots now bear in mind we were waiting for the uh the weather to clear up so we could get a nice little bit of footage and the rain was going to hit any time so we were waiting for these two people doing their things and i'll tell you what right when that guy was doing this part i could see the caption right in itself i could see the caption right in itself when he was looking off into the distance i could just see the instagram post follow your dreams anything is a reality but little did he fail to mention that he was on the same return 80 quid flight return to split that we're on he might have even got a different flight home but he was definitely on the flight there so if he's doing the whole looking off into the distance pretending he's on this really lush expensive holiday in reality he was on a 60 quid flight with air economy just like we were and he also got dredged in the rain but they were doing their dumbness to make it seem like it weren't raining whereas us we were like well it's raining 
we ain't gonna hide that fact. It is what it is. It rains. Believe it or not, in, uh, in countries that you wouldn't think it rains, it still rains. <laughs> so, uh, that was quite annoying, that was. Um, we just about got the shot, but yeah, the grey clouds started rolling over again, didn't they? And uh, yeah, we uh, we narrowly missed our, our, sit, uh, you know, our, our window of opportunity to get some good footage up there, because we'd climbed all that way. And as I say, we're not, we're not young anymore, and we're certainly not fit. <laughs> So climbing that, climbing that mountain was we we earned that man. We earned that. We earned those. We earned those videos. So uh, each of their own, I guess. But then yeah, Instagrammers, you'll be walking down a beautiful like uh, old town or something. You got your stride. You're making good progress, and bam, they just stop. And then like this one woman, she was, she was brilliant. She kind of literally was doing that over here, like that just frozen in time just like that just frozen I was like god if you don't blink love you're gonna stay like that you know what I mean and uh yeah just I don't know man I I am a tourist I am of course a tourist I'm not from Croatia I'm not from Bosnia but even I get frustrated with the tourists so I I, I can only empathize how you feel if you live in those areas and you've got to deal with that day in and day out but yeah it's not too far a walk until you start getting into the into the nice areas. Go across this road. Crossing roads in Bosnia and Croatia is strange. It's like a it's a sport. Like yeah, this this will happen. Like they'll drive and some people will drive and some people will stop. Fala. And I don't know how it works. I don't know how the roads of Croatia and Bosnia work. But one thing I noticed, right? You walk, you press the traffic light, you'll turn green. And then for some reason they just keep driving. Don't they? They just keep driving. Oh, in Croatia. Yeah, in the Croatia, yeah. they'll just keep driving. You'll press the, the green mammal show, you'll start walking, they'll just still be driving. And they'll shop just they'll stop just short of you. And I don't know why that is. I've still not got, got my head around the road systems here. And yeah, like zebra crossings or the little lines on the road. Um sometimes you stop, sometimes you don't. Hello kitty. <laughs> Cats everywhere. Hello, friend. Hello. Sorry, I'm a I'm a crazy cat guy. If me and Tammy don't work out, then uh, I'll probably. You just saw me, mate. I was just friendly to that cat. I'm good. I'm I'm a good guy. See, look, you can trust me. I end up uh, I end up as a crazy cat guy, probably. Yeah, I mean, like just cats everywhere. No human interaction. Rocking backwards and forwards in the chair just ruined the day that I, you know, didn't get more cats. <laughs> yeah, that's alright, yeah. But uh, no, um, yeah, there's, there's loads of cats roaming around uh, in uh, Croatia and Bosnia and Greece as well. We went to Greece, I noticed that as well. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, from, uh, from, from the little we know about Bosnia, it's, uh, it's an absolutely stunning country, really friendly people. It's always funny as well because uh, the look on everyone's face when you start trying to bust out some some Bosnian. It's like it's, it's it's really funny. It's either a mixture of like complete like they they find it absolutely hilarious because of how badly pronouncing it, or they find it really like uh, endearing because you're giving it a shot. And uh, you know, for me, it doesn't matter what country you go to. I do I do try to, to learn some of the language. But uh, yeah, in terms in terms of today. I think what we're going to do now, at least, is going, going to find a, uh, a place with some sort of uh, internet connection. I see that's the only way we can do it. Literally walk around, pull out your phone, right? Flip down the Wi-Fi and just start walking around until you get any, you know, a unlocked internet connection. And that's all you can do, really. Um, so we're going to do that. And then once we've got the internet, we're going to use Google Maps to find out where we are. Uh, and then try and get ourselves out to the old town and go and explore a bit of Bosnia. But as you can see here, you've got this beautiful building here, but then right in front of me, you've got this building that was completely destroyed and the same just over there as well. So it's a, it's a country of, of uh, whoa. <laughs> so yeah, it's a country of stark contrasts, Bosnia. You know, there's, 
there's the beauty, there's the tourism, and then there's the there's the history. Um, and it's such a strange disparity to, to witness. And my word, look how busy it is. <laughs> Relentless. But yeah, there you go. Mostar. Here it is. The heavens have opened up. What a surprise. It don't take too long, does it? <laughs> yeah, the heavens are now opened up and uh, it's now raining. It's crazy to see buildings like this one like peppered with bullet holes and stuff like that it's just mad yeah i mean like you know you know you go on youtube right you type in like bosnia like most are right and uh it'll be a whole a whole load of uh like don't forget to go to the old town don't forget to go and explore all oh, the markets <laughs> like all this really cheesy like pop music like someone drinking a tea in a lavish place but they don't show the reality of it man and i think that's what's uh that's sad in a way because yeah i mean look, look at that look for real nice here you go people so there's old town and a gate and another building that shows signs of the weathered history that bosnia has so here we go we made it to the old town now we're gonna go and do a bit of uh exploration great i've got huge blisters on my feet right like massive and i've got to walk on this I tell you when i get home and I've, the worst thing is right i get home right we get back on a saturday i've got two days to rest and then literally i've got to go straight back to the gym because i've been trying to stick with that <laughs> so obviously you know i'm not going to use the fact i've been on a week-long trip away across the uh across the Croatian and Bosnian mountains to uh, allow myself a free day off. But yeah, you know, we love old towns. That's one thing we do love. We love it even more when they've not been ruined by tourism. And that's why we came in October, actually. We came specifically so we could kind of enjoy it, minus the, uh, the crowds. But, you know, and, and for me, like the rain doesn't, doesn't matter. Like, I like rain. I'm a fan of rain. Just have to be careful. There's a bit of a hill here. And if we know me well enough, we know the history <coughs> of my channel, or our channel, should I say. Sorry, Tam, taking that away from you, aren't I? The history of this channel. You'll know that um, I've got a. Oh, there you go. See, I've got a. Um, You're prone to slip. I've got, I've got, I've got a proneness to slip. Okay, yeah. So here we go. Old town, most our people, and uh, yeah. Nice. Do you want one? Dobar dan, mogu li platiti katicom? Ne, oh, nem problema. Mogu dan dan. So, yeah, let's go and have a little look. So, yeah, it's, it's proper old school, man. I love it. You have to wish me luck trying to push through this crowd. Tell you what, right? In, uh, in Bosnia, sorry, in Croatia, shall I say, the buses they are relentless like literally right we tried to get on the bus and we had to force our way force filled our way onto the bus and everyone was squeezing on like we were like proper like you have to you have to you have to push against everybody like if you don't oh uh Jean yeah um no money sorry i i have no money i'm sorry no money sorry no money, we just spent our last money. Jamia, Uga Dan Dan. Look at that, look, it's been raining quite heavy, yeah? Heavy, heavy, heavy? It's been raining quite heavily. So, uh, yeah. I wonder what she thought was German. <laughs> she said, Guten Tag. So, uh, yeah. I do apologize for the lighting. I can't, I'm. <clears throat> I'm having to try and uh, stay out the sunlight because it's uh, bright in some areas and really dark in others. So, uh, yeah, it is what it is, I guess. But yeah, Tammy's acquired her. Uh... 
She's very proud. She she loves her uh, fridge, uh, fridge magnets. There you go. That's the uh, next one for the collection. So yeah, I think we're going to need money here. To be honest, I mean, I I, I can't think of one place that I've been to yet that accepts card. It's really strange as well because I did read online that you can card is widely accepted here, but it's not. So yeah, just pushing through now, getting through, getting through the crowds. <laughs> okay, well, there's the bridge. I don't think we're going to get a chance to go and have a have a stand on it, but we may if we're lucky. We may be lucky to be able to get a shot from over here. Look. There you go, so there's the old bridge. And uh, sometimes you get uh, like bridge jumpers and stuff like that. But not today. Oh, look at them waters. Beautiful. So, yeah, for context, here's the bridge. If you want to go for a little one, well, I'm surprised this thing holds up. Look at that. That's like ants. <laughs> we can. All right. Wishes luck, people. We're going to walk on the bridge. This is what brought us to Mostar in the first place. Didn't quite picture this. I ain't going to lie. Yeah, you have a, an ideology of uh, how things going to work out. And it's very slippery. Yeah, look at the floor. It's a very, very, very beautiful ancient bridge. Yeah, people literally jump off this thing as well. But I just don't think the conditions... I don't think the conditions are right for it today. Look at this. This is a... Uh, this is quite the push. Just got a final opening. So yeah, unfortunately, in uh, in different countries, you've, you've got to be ruthless, man. You've you've got to. Here we go. There's a little opening we can take. Do we then mugali platiti katitsum? Cash, cash only. Cash. Have we got cash? Okay. Uh, what what do you want? Do you want any baklava? No, I thought you wanted to. No? Um, uh, Mogali da biti double walnut baklava? I, I don't know what that is in, <laughs> in Bosnian. <laughs> Super. Falavam. Dovigenia. Uga dan dan. Yeah, so cash is, cash is king here. So if you come to, uh, if you come to Bosnia or Mostar, um, definitely bring cash. Um, I've not found not one. We're going to call this the uh, the hunt the hunt for the the card machine, the card machine hunt, <laughs> market card machine hunt. The banana mogali platiti katitsum. Yes, samo je euro ima. Oh, cash. Okay. Cash euro ima. Ah, okay. Fala vam, fala. Oh, we're not having any luck. It's the challenge. Find a place that accepts cards. I think the uh, we did do it earlier. The uh, the local shop. I think they accepted card, but we had cash. We do have cash, but I just want to see if we can use if any if anywhere accepts card. It's like my own personal challenge now. Dobadana mogali platiti katitsum. Yeah. Okay. No problem. Falaban. Right, card is king, baby. Gonna find I don't think we're gonna find anywhere. Yeah. Dobar dan, mogli platiti kartičom? Ah, super, super. Mogli dobiti dva čaja sa mlekom? Sony. Sony čaja, mlim. Okay, you want to play? Super, kart kartom mlim, kartičom mlim. So she doubted me. She doubted. She doubted that I could find somewhere that I accept card, but I did it. I proved everyone wrong. So it does. It does uh, on the board. It does say yeah, that they accept card, but uh, yeah, the card hunt 
is over, so we did it. Uh, I've come here to pack the wrong one, it's all good, it's my fault, so, but we've got ourselves a traditional coffee. So I'm going to try that shortly, because I've seen people over here drinking it, and I was like, oh, man, that looks really good. I want to, I've heard so much, such good things about Bosnian coffee, got to try one. So I've got ourselves a mixed meat platter as well, so we're going to enjoy that shortly. So a mixed meat platter is 35 bam which is about 15 pound that's well good for a mixed meat clap too so yeah we're gonna get stuck in in a minute so first time trying bosnian coffee let's do this oh, wow. look at that typical i'm the cat lover and yet the cat has come to yeah, yeah, yeah. cat has come to say hello to Tammy rather than me. Hello. Oh, can we take him home? I don't think we could get him through customs. Oh, there we go, people. The uh, the meat platter has arrived, and uh, yeah, they ain't messing, are they? Look at this. What have we got here then? So we got breads. We've got cabbage, tomatoes. What's this? This is like oh, like right, peppers and skewered chicken. Got like sausage. Yeah, we've <laughs> we've got a bit to go through here, man. So yeah, let's try the sausage quickly. Let's give it a go. That is banging. Dobar dan. Mogu li da biti jedan pomegranate juice? I can't, I can't say it in <laughs> I can't say it in Bosnian. <laughs> Are you from Mostar? Are you from Mostar? No. Are you not? Where are you from? I'm from Serbia. Serbia? Wow. <laughs> What's Serbia like? We're hoping to go to uh, Belgrade one day actually. Bel Bel Is it called Belgrade? <laughs> Is that Serbia? Is that a hard language to learn as well? Oh, so once you know then. One country before. Really? Before the war in Yugoslavia, yes. Yugoslavia, yeah, uh, of course. Croatia, Serbia, Bosnia, Montenegro, Macedonia, and Slovenia. All one country? We all ah. was Yugoslavia. Oh, I see, and then the language is all the same. Yes. Oh, I see, but the accent is different. Yeah. Oh, yes, okay. Yes. Oh, super. Falavan. Ojami and Nick. Nick over in Bozanski. Got a pomegranate juice. I'll let you go first and I'll give you the change whilst you're doing that. Oh no. No? Oh. Two pomegranate for you. That's as, as fresh as it gets. Oh, that's cool then, because I want to go to Serbia. So uh, at least learning Serbian won't be as much of a challenge for me. On we go. Oh wow, yeah. Sour, That's good, I like it. I like pomegranate juice. So yeah, it's quietening down a little bit over the bridge. You've got a bit more space to breathe now there. There we go, so walking up the old ancient bridge. And there you go. There's your Instagrammers. They're everywhere. Look, cocking up the leg. <laughs> God, it's <this is> so irritating. <laughs> and now we've all got to make way. There you go, the entire portion of the bridge blocked off. Mogali de Biti Yedin Kinder Bueno Molim. Kinder Bueno. Yes, that one. Is that a one, one euro? Yes. One euro, yeah, Molim. Falavam. <laughs> Falavam. Super, hvala vam. Super. Hvala. Hvala. Ugedan dan. There you go, the wife now has her ice cream. So, uh, happy days. I've done my job. I act as a mini, mini translator. Although I don't really speak the language well myself. <laughs> I can get by. But then there's certain words I don't know, so I don't know what Kinder Bueno is. I guess it's the same, isn't it? Kinder Bueno. Be the same. 
but yeah tell you what right so we withdrew how much was it like 90 yeah we drew, we drew like 90 bam uh the cousin the currency of bosnia i think they're called bosnian mark marks i think they're called which is i'm sure i swear germany used to have marks deutsch marks i'm sure of it yeah any good i don't think she's going to share people <laughs> I pressurised her on camera. Mmm. Kinder Bueno. Very nice. Um, yeah. We got a 90. How much we got? Like 11? 12? Yeah. That'll be enough to get our dinner later. I don't know how much a 90 is. It's probably like 40 quid, roughly. 40 quid has done pretty much our entire day. We've got a few souvenirs, we've got some dinner. So we decided to uh, stop up and get ourselves a uh, a few uh, things along the way. We thought, you know what, we're just going to soak in the atmosphere for now. You know, just soak in the rest of the market atmosphere. And I didn't know that you could buy beer. So this is called Mostarsko. Mostarsko, or something like that. A beer from Mostar. So I've tried um, Ozyusko. I've tried Kalavachko and now I'm going to try the Mostar's local beer. Sorry, Lucky, you won't like that. That is good. <laughs> oh, yeah, and Tammy got a chocolate cake. And we got a tea. I got a tea first. Didn't realise you could buy beer in uh, Bosnia because obviously, you know, Muslim country, I didn't, re didn't know you could, you could purchase alcohol. And uh, yeah, so. I thought this would be a dry holiday, this uh, this this portion of the trip, but no. Uh, Yed and Pivo, very nice. So, we were just sat in a really, really nice restaurant. Um, um, like having a cup of tea, oh, and Bob, well, me having a cup of tea and Bob having a beer, as, you know, why not? And then all of a sudden, we heard the cries of prayer at like prayer time so I'm just walking along the street to get used to hear it better I don't know if you can see but it looks like it's coming from the mosque just there So, we've just come out of Old Town and then we stumbled upon this gorgeous church. I'll show you the front of it actually. Look at that. So I don't know if you know or you can tell, but I've kind of like um, taken the camera off Bob and decided, eh, why not? You know, why don't I have a play about with it? And I'm glad I did. You know, he's loving life. He's loving the fact that it's me taking over and not him. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, awesome. And pillars. I don't know if you can see, but. me again so we've just like we've decided to like go back to the you know apartment just to rest um put stuff on charge and that and um we have just discovered that had we have gone all the way down there it would have taken us to that church that i went and took like a video of um instead of walking down there and then all the way round. It wasn't until we got to that little alley just there where I saw that building. You know, and I said to Bob, ah, oh, had we have just stayed on this path and walked all the way down back down to here, we would have been back here by now.
that hurt. I don't know if you noticed, but I just tripped up the step. Hello people, so back in the apartment and uh, as you can see, Tammy's safe, the fall didn't damage her too much. Only just <laughs> only just. And um, yeah, you, you can, uh, you know, you can thank Tammy for some of that uh, latter content. Um, I was sitting there drinking my beer and uh, I was completely vlogged out. And she was like, give it to me, I'll, I'll go and uh, do some stuff. So she went off her own little beating trail um, and she found some really cool content. So uh, yeah, she she heard the call to prayer, um, found that church, and she also found a shortcut that we could take. So uh, yeah, that'd be useful for tomorrow. So first impressions of Mostar have been very, very just crazy, I guess. Like you turn around and you look over here and there's this absolutely stunning building. And then you turn and look over here and there's a building that's been completely shelled and it's just fallen to pieces. Oh, like holes. Or like bullet holes and stuff, mm. yeah. And it's just so strange to see like such a such a stark contrast between two different buildings in the same area. You know what I mean? That's that really kind of first time I've seen anything like that before. So it's really really strange. But um, you know, it um, it it shows that the city has a has a strong history. Um, you know, it's, it's a sad history, but it does have a history. And, uh, yeah, you know, we went around and explored the old town and stuff and, uh, you know, saw what that had to offer. But everyone we came across was so friendly. Um, when we came back to the apartment uh, earlier, we um, we charged everything up and we went out for some dinner and um, went to a restaurant. And this bloke, he just couldn't do enough for us. He was so lovely. Like, um you know, took our order and stuff. He told us the Wi-Fi password, and he, you know, when we finished it, we brought the I brought the plates to him because that's what I do anyway in the UK. Like I'll finish my dinner, and I'll bring the plates to the just so the servers don't have to do it. Because I used to work in catering, I used to be a chef, so you know, I kind of I know, I know the feeling. You know what I mean? So I try and I try and pay it forward, and um, yeah, he made us a glass of water, and he started talking to us and stuff about you know growing up here and whatnot and it's just really really nice interaction i really wish i'd had the camera actually to have caught that moment because it was such a beautiful moment between us two like you know this guy that i've never met before and completely different culture to me but we just yeah really bonded over our over our love of of traveling and seeing the world and stuff and uh strangely enough actually he was his mum was from holland my grandma's from holland so yeah connected by uh by by heritage I guess, <laughs> and um, yeah, it's it's just been such a crazy experience, all in all, but a, a great one. You know, really enjoyed uh, most of, and um, yeah, we look forward to exploring it tomorrow. So, in terms of tomorrow, um, we've got until about four p.m. About about half four. About half four, and then we jump on another bus back to Croatia. Back for another border crossing. Oh god, I hope they don't pick on me again. That'd be so funny. Oh, god. Get, the get the blood thread in. Twice. <laughs> um I've I've been searched three times this year um in border border crossings and stuff, so yeah. let's not make it a fourth. <laughs> but um you've made the hat trick. So made, yeah, we've got the hat trick, yeah. But um yeah, so we're gonna do a little bit more exploration. Don't think we're gonna go to Old Town because as beautiful as it was, it was just saturated with tourism. You're literally um, shoulder to shoulder. Shoulder to shoulder with people. People just stopping in your path to take a selfie, which is obviously fine, you know what I mean? People can take selfies, but it's always in the most inconvenient of locations, you know what I mean? Like, we took a picture for our thumbnail, but we made sure we took it where nobody was walking. We made sure we did that, you know, with swing. We could have done exactly what everyone else was doing and trying to take it on the bridge in front of everybody's paths. We were like, no, nah, I'm not going to do that. There was a time where Tammy accidentally started taking some B-roll footage for this uh, stuff. And I was like, whoa, 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 move back. You're getting in people's ways. We don't want to become one of them. <laughs> <laughs> it was quite funny, wasn't it? We, we, we swore not to become the Instagrammers. But um, but yeah, all in all, it's been a, been a great day. And uh, yeah, we're going to go off and do a tiny bit more exploration tomorrow. Uh, probably off the beaten trail. We'll give you the um, the apartment review if you're interested in seeing that because we only paid £19 
per, uh, night. per night for here. So if you want to see what that gets you, then stick around for that. And uh, we're going to have a little look around the neighbourhood as well to see in a bit more detail. We filmed it in this video, like you've seen a few snippets and stuff, but we'll have a close look at our neighbourhood that we stayed in during our time in Bosnia. So uh, thank you for joining us in this video. We really appreciate you watching. As always, we hope you have a great day. And uh, yeah, we hope you join us on the next video and we hope you enjoyed the, uh, the content. See you later, people. Take care.